I just had to say goodbye to my sister because she just left literally not even a minute ago a minute ago just left for her honeymoon okay so before we start with what might be the finale to this game for real this time let me tell you something that happened earlier today just bear with me for a minute <clears throat> so when I woke up this morning, first thing I saw was Shiny Meloetta has finally been released. 12 years after Meloetta was released, I think Meloetta was released in 2012. So 12 years of being Shiny locked, we finally have Shiny Meloetta available. And I mentioned this because you guys know how there's been a bunch of Pokemon leaks lately? You know, beta sprites and, you know, some weird, lewd fanfic of Pokemon like Typhlosion, Octillery, Slackoth. Well, earlier today I saw this screenshot floating around. It's a screenshot of a tweet from Central Leaks and it goes, <laughs> Leaks, Typhlosion. Game Freak, deploy emergency unreleased shiny. <laughs> I would not be surprised if that's actually what happened. They gave us an unreleased shiny just to keep us distracted from all the leaked news. So, the way to get shiny Meloetta is you need to complete your entire Scarlet and Violet Pokedex in Pokemon Home. Now, as you can see here, I am nowhere close so a living dex doesn't work they have to originate from scarlet and violet so clearly i have a bit of work to do matter of fact this was earlier in the day this is now a bit outdated this is how it looks now so you can see i've made a good amount of progress anyway so let me show you like what happened while I was, you know, just grinding and trying to complete my Pokedex. So, if I show you this screenshot right here. Because if you notice here. Wait, if you notice there, at the very bottom, you see I'm missing Wigglytuff. So, I was here looking for a Wigglytuff. You see what that is in the back there? You, you see what that is back there? So what happened was, I encountered the Wigglytuff, and then what I presume to be a shiny Mudsdale back there despawned. Can you guys just give me a second real quick? What? I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, earlier today in the process, I failed a shiny Mudsdale. <sighs> but it's okay! In the process of me just keep on continuously grinding for more stuff, I ended up with a shiny Scyther. So, um, I failed a shiny Mudsdale today, but I did get a shiny Scyther, so, um... Yeah, I've got some work to do to get myself my own shiny Meloetta, but rest assured, I will. I will. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's actually start. <clears throat> so I don't think there's anything left for me to do before the actual fight itself. So I think I'm just going to jump right in. Now, I don't really know how it's going to play out. I don't know how the teams are going to work. Let's just do it. Excuse me. We already read what she said here last time. Sister. Okay, follow me then. Whoa, where is this? We 
We arrived at the gates of heaven? So this is... Where is everyone else? Don't worry about them. They're just waiting in their own areas. You see the big door up ahead? There's an arena through there. That's where we'll be fighting them. For a second, and I thought that thing beside her was a giant butt plug. There will be a price for losing. <sighs> Sister, are you listening? Is there really no other way? It seems so. The others didn't appear willing to back down anyway. But even if you refuse to fight, I won't let them take your key. You promised me that you wouldn't hurt my friends! I know. But your life might be on the line here. What? Your key and your new power are both deeply connected to your heart. So if your key is taken, I think your life could be at risk. You don't know for sure. No, but it's possible, isn't it? The other person with the same power as you died, didn't he? I'll... I'll protect my sister, whatever it takes. You know, this is actually where I woke up. I've been wondering what this place is, but now I have this feeling. It's hard to explain, but I think this is what I was meant to do all along. <sighs> all right. Because I, I, I was wondering how does she even know about this place, but seems like she um, seems like she already knew this place beforehand because she awoke here. Okay, I'm gonna change the music back just in case. So let's see, I'm going to set it to default, I'm going to set this to default as well. Will the music change? No, it's just going to keep on playing. Wait, what happens if I go back? Like, will the music reset? Yeah, it will. Was this door always here? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's a new door now. What? A new door, and it'll take us to where we'll be fighting. What do I do? Wait, then how did she awaken there and get to us if this door just appeared? Did she walk through and then the door disappeared and now it's back? Wait, what? Ugh, what? Whatever at this point. The music? Wait! I swear I changed that. What the hell? Did I not set it to default? There. <sighs> Wonky ass game. There, did that save? What the hell? Okay. Arena entrance. If I go through this door, I'll end up fighting my friends. I thought we were in a hurry. I thought time of the was of the essence. And here we are, actually throwing hands to decide what to do. I thought we were running out of time. This. Oh. What is that? 11 on the floor? This is where you woke up? This is kind of hilarious. Did they have their own like resting room before they came out? Huh. Why the setup here? Fitting, if you ask like, me. did Metis lead them there and said, like, here, wait a second, we'll be back. Fugasan? She will be providing support to both sides equally. Is that acceptable? Wait, you can't just decide that for 
me. Cause I, yeah, I was about to say, wouldn't it make more sense for her to sit out? Yamagishi, go with Igus. If you're wholly against the idea of us fighting, then you shouldn't be on our side. Shouldn't she just not be a part of it at all? Amana and I know what we want. We're ready to fight for it. I guess son. Have you decided what you'll do if you get the keys? I I can't fight my friends. Takebo was right. We need to recognize our feelings. Sounds like you still don't. If you don't have anything to fight for, just hand over your key and walk away. What? No, I won't allow it. Okay, here we go. See, I knew it! I knew there was a reason for me to change the music back to default. Just in case we got some new music here. Doing this. Show me what you've got. I know you don't want to fight, but we can't back down. <sighs> is this is really happening. I guess I'll provide support. Doesn't seem like we can talk them out of this. This music's already bumping. You know, I was a little worried, like, will there be a moment where the music goes from Blooming Villain to Rivers in the Desert? So I was a little afraid, so that's why I wanted to change the music back to default. Do I have charge on Igus? Well, even if I don't, I can at least try to maybe lower their attack or defense. I was about to say, are these the same moves? They look the same. Or, you know, I can raise ours. I'll raise our defense for now. And then I'll charge with her. Dang, that was even with raised defense. Okay, so I will raise our attack now. Oh, her theurgy. But I already charged. Clearly that was not a good move. Right, I, I didn't figure we know their weaknesses. Shouldn't we, though? I see. So this is what we're up against. Analysis complete. Oh wait, what? Why do you, why do you reflect that though? No, I need to heal her. I need to bring her back. Okay. Uh, let me charge again. <clears throat> okay, maybe that's why. Magic reflecting. Oh, no evasion up. I'll save that. Uh, what else do I have? You know what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, let's see. Will this work? Okay, it seems like no physical moves work on Akihiko whatsoever. Yo, they only attack Metis! Wow, okay. Oh. Ay ay ay. <laughs> I didn't. I haven't really done any damage to them yet. How can I help my sister? All right. Akihiko's health is a little too thick right now. Oh my god, that did so little damage. That did extremely little. 
<laughs> okay, so for today, aside from, uh, aside from, you know, Shiny Meloetta happening, something else that happened kind of, really? Something that unexpectedly happened today as well. Today, Liam Payne died. Liam Payne of One Direction. He died today. I tell you, that was a shock. That is not news I was expecting to hear today. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty unexpected. So, rest in peace to Liam Payne. He was 31, which is relatively young, right? And if I'm not mistaken, he just had a kid. If not just had, then, you know, recently, the past few years, he had a kid, right? It's like it's pretty sad, kind of unfortunate that he passed away so absurdly. Well, not absurdly. That's not the right word. So abruptly, that's the word. Not absurdly. You know, I knew people back then who would have been absolutely devastated at this news. You know, back when One Direction... That's enough warming up. Back when One Direction was at their peak, I knew people that then who would, you know, not get enough of them. Obviously, that was like nearly 15 years ago. So I, I, I wonder, like, what they're thinking now. If they even saw the news. You know, maybe I should have used Fuka's theurgy there. Whoops. So what will happen if I actually lose? Okay, so it seems like we're not allowed to lose. Even if I wasn't on peaceful, we're not allowed to lose. So there's no ending to this where they win and they get the key. It's no secret ending for that. Can I lower your guys' defense again? Or maybe I'll just do this again. That works too. I feel like I need to prioritize Akihiko just because he's tanking more damage. Of course, that critical rate up, of course. Boo! I don't think it's a secret that I am doing super bad on this right now. Just shows to... Just shows you, like, how good these characters can fight when I'm not in control. Oh man, like, why does he reflect everything? Because I can't use any of these moves.
Let me see, which move was it that lowers their defense? Raises, oh no, it raises all our defense. Well, I'll do that too. Wait, or should I? Because these guys, will defense even work for us? Like, would it even matter, or should I just attack? Uh, I don't know why he reflects it. He doesn't block any of them. He doesn't have a, a, a physical wall up. At least, unless unless he does and I missed it. I'm going to try again. Why do you keep attacking Metis? What is optimal? I don't have any better healing moves. Oh my god. This is my I am doing so bad at this right now. You, well, I already charged, so if uh if he reflects it, well, what difference will it make? And it misses him. It misses Ken. <sighs> These two are tough. And stack that on top of, I'm just terrible at this. I, I know this hurts to watch, I know. No. Whoops. We're not even halfway with their health yet. Can I maybe get a freeze on you? I don't know if I can freeze them actually, since he's- oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, because these guys are technically boss fights. Uh... Sure, I'll use this now. That way it builds- it has time to build up again. Can you imagine if she actually healed us all equally? What is <laughs> Just now she would have healed them too. Freeze, 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 freeze. God damn it. Do I need to take him out first? It is time. That's some bullshit right yeah. there. What the hell? Summoning. Do I have a strong move that attacks one? I don't think I do. I think I, I think I replaced them all. Well, I have this. Yeah, he has a magic wall up. <sighs> These guys are tough!
At what point can I say, I give up, here, take my key? Man, I'm just gonna stick to Virus Press. I don't think I have a move that can lower their defense. Ah, oh, whatever. I can at least maybe get some damage on Ken. Well, better than nothing. Uh... This all attack's not gonna really do anything. It won't actually have that much damage put in. Yeah, that's very little. Okay. I need to get serious. I'm stronger than this. Oh, he used his on us! Oh no! Oh no! I didn't even consider they could do it on us. Yeah. Yo, this is tough! Ain't no way I would be able to do this if I wasn't on Peaceful. This is my resolve. Man, where's that move of mine that can lower that? <sighs> Do I even have that? I thought I did, yeah. Yeah, your magic wall is still up. Do I just... Do I just take it? Do I just take it so I can start attacking you? Because I'm afraid you'll heal him again. Uh, no, I'll save it for Igus to hit, because she can actually maybe hit Akihiko at the same time. Or should I just... Ah, screw it. Oh, that's not good. Bruh! My charge! Am I winning? Absolutely not. This is a really hard fight. Please don't reflect it back. I know you're going to. Or maybe not. Maybe a, maybe a physical wall was put up and I just didn't see. But wouldn't I have shown in the top corner? They really only attack Metis. Ah. Uh... Right, I, okay, ice does work, so just wanted to check. I need to try to get rid of that magic wall on him. Even if it takes, you know, just one sacrifice like this. Like, one sacrifice hit. There. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm gonna do it. Bruh. 
Um... I'm really afraid he's gonna heal Akihiko again. Motherfuck! Well, there's the Makara Karn. Once again. Nah, but I need to... I need to neutralize that. Did he just say mommy? What did he just say? God damn it, stop doing that! Uh, I'm pretty sure if I charge, I'm not gonna have enough health to do this next time. I'll try it though. Well, unless I use Igus to heal, that is. But I got two options right now, and I cannot have both. I can either heal Metis so that she can use the move she charged for, or I could lower their evasion. Because her evasion is up now, so there's a chance that if I heal Metis, and then she uses her physical move, they could miss. Ah! I can raise my evasion, but Metis won't have enough HP. She wouldn't have had enough HP to do this. Or am I tripping? Alright, let's see. Uh-huh. Candenza raises evasion and heals. Mm. So he still has a magic wall up and him. Uh... Yikes, this one's tough! I'm just gonna charge again. And then I'm gonna try to have Igus get rid of that magic wall. fight sucks. Ah, uh, that's the third time I've died to this fight. <laughs> Not a chance I'd be able to do this if I wasn't on peaceful. Man, man, lower that shit! You two are a little too skilled right now. Does my charge still count? There's almost no reason to use magic on Metis. I know, but sometimes, sometimes Akihiko reflects the physical move. And unless I'm blind, I'm not seeing a reason why. Maybe it's the moveset I have for him where there's a chance he'll reflect it. Maybe I just didn't see or I wasn't paying attention. Uh... All right, get rid of that magic wall. It's high counter, so if I didn't put that on him, would uh, th that have made this easier? Would that have made this a lot easier to do? Uh, 
My god, why are you so evasive? Oh no, he charged. That's not good. Uh... It doesn't matter what move set you had before, they use their own moves for this fight. Well, then that's a bullshit right there, that high counter. Bullshit ass move set they have now. Why couldn't I have that move set when I was using them? Uh, his evasion, not not evasion. His he charged up. So what do I do now? Mm, he doesn't have a magic wall, and uh, he's charged. Uh, Nope, that's not the one. What do I have? What do I have that's good? That will probably be thrown back at me. Uh, nothing really. <laughs> I didn't really do much good stuff. You guard? You know what, you're- that's a good point. I could do that. <laughs> or get a, poso a persona with a reflect strike. Oh, too late now, I'm already into the fight. That was with guard? Uh... Screw it. I don't know why they keep on only attacking Metis. They only attack her. I can do this. These two are strategically targeting one at a time. They're not doing what I'm doing. If you're gonna use a physical move on Aegis, you use the one you fuse with a bunch of swords. What's the best move? Okay. This is I'll charge first this time. Okay, thanks, fools. You raised the critical rate. You set the one with a bunch of swords. This one. Uh. Whoa, bloody charge. Well, then I won't have enough HP to do this, so I may as well just try it first. Thank you for raising the critical rate. Okay, that's good. He's out. You did good, Amada. Just leave the rest to me. How can I help my sister? He's probably thinking, I, we keep beating them, but they just keep on getting up. It's almost like they're playing this very peacefully. Mm. Ah, why not? All my physical moves attack multiple enemies. So it's all I can use. I won't go down. No more holding back. I don't like the sound of that. It's almost like Akihiko actually won four times already. He's just like. Man, why, do, why won't they stay down? They just keep on getting back up. I'm gonna try this. Screw it. I'm gonna try it. Watch that get reflected back towards me. Man. Watch he misses. Watch this misses, or watch it get reflected back. Just watch the move not land. Okay, never mind. Damn. 
Didn't know they used Theurgies? Yeah, me neither. I didn't know Ganondorf can flurry rush me. Brave Blades. Severe slash damage to one foe. What do I have? Severe slash to all. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't care about EXP. We're almost done the game anyways. Like, do I really care to keep this? I might get rid of growth too, actually. Because it's actually the thing that matters the least right now. I'm gonna do it. Did I do a good job, sister? Survive a failure to blow with HP fully recovered. So it's just a it's just a focus sash that fully heals me up. I'm playing this on peaceful. Do I even need this? Uh, Insta heal. No, that's actually pretty good. Mm, honestly, I don't really care to have this right now, especially if I'm just playing on peaceful. Uh, I mean, up next, we're facing Mitsuru, and she could freeze us, so this is going to be good to have. I mean, what are the chances I get one shot, right? I assume this only applies if I'm at full HP, and the move could potentially one-shot me. Like, what are the chances of that happening? So I think I'll skip. Wait, what? We killed them! What just... They paid the price for losing. They're still alive. They just won't return to normal until the true key is forged. But if the fires burn out, they won't come back. Even after forging the key. That would have been nice to mention before! I couldn't stop fighting once I started? I, I have no choice. If you don't fight, they'll take your key. I can't let you die. Die? I guess... What does she mean? You tell us about something like that, right? I didn't think anyone else should know. Everyone is doing what they feel is best. For him. They don't need to worry about what might happen to me, too. I guess... no! This is why you... You have to... Anyway... I'm sure this is what I was meant to do. <laughs> um... Sister? Don't call me that. You're not my sister. You hate me now? <laughs> but that doesn't matter. You're still more important to me than anything, so I won't stop. Even if you hate me for it, I will protect you, no matter what. Battle has begun. I need to save my defeated friends, so I have no choice but to keep fighting. So, we just going back to take a break? Okay, that's exactly what we're doing. Once again, I thought we were in a hurry. I thought there was no time to lose, and we just came back here. I guess, are you okay? No, of course you're not okay. Sister? I won't stop. Even if you hate me for this, no matter how painful it may be. Okay, so I just need to head back down. 
Is this a chance for them to... Yeah, this, is, this seems like it's a chance for them to let me save the game. I did not expect it to play out like this. I kind of thought what would happen was we were going to choose who to fight against and that would determine the ending. Like, we know... We know Akihiko and Ken, they wanted to move forward. They didn't want to bring him back. So if I, th I thought if we fought against them, we would be siding with Yukari and Mitsuru, which meant we wanted to save him. So we would take their keys and we would s change the past and save him, or vice versa. We, fight we choose to fight against Yukari and Mitsuru. We get their keys and we choose to move forward. That's what I thought was going to happen. I didn't know we'd be fighting all of them. And then we decide afterwards. Now uh, the answer only has one ending. <laughs> so should I save the game right now? I'm gonna save... Mm, do I make another save? It doesn't seem like there's anything different I can do right now. Like if I choose something different, then I'll get a different outcome. It doesn't seem like that. I mean, there's really no point to me going back and fighting them again. There's nothing I can change. So I think I'll just save over this. Well, if... If that was the wrong decision, it's okay. I have this. Um. Heading to the Desert of Doors, I guess? Yes. Alright, I'll let Metis know now. Isn't she just standing behind me? Can't she hear this? Isn't she just right there? What do you mean, let her know? Alright, do you have anything is anything to say? I think it's kind of pointless for you to give me this now. Look at all the requests I have not completed. Will I fuse better personas? Nope! what that say? Colossal what? <sighs> if I go through this door, I'll end up fighting my friends. It's okay, I saved the game. Wait a second. I was thinking, like, what about them? I thought they were undecided. So, I think I mostly get what's going on. That's what happens to the losers, huh? That's correct. And no one's taking my sister's key. No matter who we have to eat. That's what I expected from little sis, but... I guess... What about you? You wanna redo the past? Or move forward? <sighs> oh well. I didn't exactly make a choice myself, but... I've been thinking... The past or the present... I don't know, I feel like that's the wrong way to look at it. And maybe, maybe the problem's us for seeing it that way. I mean, just look at us, beating each other down because we can't agree. Do we really got what it takes to go back and make an even better future? What if we end up making a worse future instead? Doesn't that just sound like how wars start? Look, I get that we don't got much we rush this, fighting each other? No question we're getting a worse future. So, this is my choice. And I'm standing by it all the way. If we gotta fight anyway, then I'll just knock some sense into all of you. That's the best I got. <laughs> if he was here, I bet he'd know what to do. You still can't even say his name. Junpei-san. 
Did I miss something? I still don't know where he sides with. You can't be the one moving on to the finals if you don't even know what you want to do. So, I gotta do it myself. No matter how tough it gets. <laughs> Thanks, Carmara. Alright, I'm ready. Let's get this show on the road. It sounds to me like he... He himself is also undecided, and he's fighting just for the sake of it. Because everyone else is. No hard feelings, Kay! So don't hold anything back! Well, I mean, you can hold back a little bit on me. This is wrong. There has to be another way. Alright, so we're fighting against Junpei and Zashian here. Uh, Alright, let's see how many times I lose to this. Let's start with a bloody charge. And yeah, charge again. Okay, I like the look of that. Right, yeah. Man! Can I just use my theurgy on you? Of course that had to miss. Of course it did. Man, I don't like fighting Koromaru. Do do? <laughs> My God, Junpei! I used slash earlier. Is that why he dodged it? No, but he he genuinely dodged it though. Cause if uh, he would have just blocked it if it landed, so he actually did dodge it. Uh. I guess I'll raise our attack for now. Sure. It's actually some pretty sweet timing. Uh, you know, I'll use her theurgy as well, just so it'll start building back up again. Maybe I should have used it on Koromaru. Like, if I could take one down faster, then, you know, at least that'll be good. Yeah, maybe I should have used that on Koromaru. Especially since Koromaru was so down. You know, there's actually a pretty... Um, there's actually a pretty full moon outside today. I don't know if it's a fully full moon, or if it's just slightly, slightly off from it. Tonight it is a huge moon, and it's super bright as well. This is my <clears throat> Wait, if I do this, then the slash ones don't work on Junpei, so I would have to use this. I mean, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Wait, 
Yeah, okay. Just making sure that wasn't a slash move. can't really do anything else anymore okay if I do one of these and then I die and come back are these still in effect well I certainly hope so oh wait that only works on me because she's down or not down she's dead Oh, by the way, how far am I from the end of this DLC? Because this feels very conclusion-like. Because I don't know how much more of the DLC there is. I'm assuming I'm at the very end. Uh-oh, that's not good. Can you please land this? Please? All right, Koromaru's down. Sorry, I dragged you into this boy. Don't worry, I'll fight enough for both of us. He's so gripping that blade in his mouth. Sustained heavy damage. This is my resolve. Uh. No, is complete. What is optimal? I, I guess I may as well. Well, not much else I can do now. Maybe I can get a freeze in. Nope. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just keep on using this. Wait, what? Oh, high counter! <clears throat> I was about to ask, what happened? I guess I've been getting lucky and not getting that this whole time. What's the best move? Uh... Ah, nah, I'll charge. Even if it becomes overkill, I'll still do it. it? Even with the bloody charge? That's it? Oh, maybe because its defense was up. Right, I forgot that was the case. Well... Wait, it only attacked- it only hit him once! I suppose it is one to four times. Your invention is optimal. You need to recover before you get hit. 
Ah, uh, well, the next move will probably take me out, so what's the point in doing this? Oh, now I get her theurgy. Would have been useful the literal turn right before this. Cool. I don't think that's one I've seen yet. God damn it. Bro, you have seen it? It's his basic one? Well, I don't remember anymore. Alright, Brave Blade, Severe Slash to 1, Heavy Slash to all, do I really want this though? Uh, uh, I mean, I could just get rid of this, I suppose, so I can have both options, one or all. Or maybe I could get rid of one of the one of the magic moves. Mm. I'm not really using the magic moves for anything, right? Up next, we're going to be fighting. Well, actually, we're going to be fighting Yukari and Mitsuru. So both of these will have no <laughs> no real reason to keep. I guess I'll lose this one since this one at least has a chance of freeze. So I'll, I guess I'll lose this one. for the same thing. I thought we all cared about each other. So why? The next battle will be the last. If we win, there won't be anyone left who can take your key. This can't be right. I think I agree with Junpei-san. That we're the problem. And knowing that I might die because of all this, it's terrifying. Terrifying to think that conflict is inevitable because agreeing with anyone means disagreeing with someone else. So do we really have no choice but to hurt the ones we care about the most? That's just... I don't think I can take it. Sister. I can't do this. I won't. I'm not fighting anymore. I'll give you Kari-san and Mitsuru-san my key. And this will be over. I don't think she'll allow that. No! You can't just let yourself die. I did. And that would be fine. Besides, you still don't know that for certain. I should be okay if my power core remains functional. Wait, hold on! I... I had a premonition. I get... That I haven't shared much about myself. But I wasn't trying to hide something. I just really don't know anything. I'm not sure when I discovered my emotions because I don't have any memories. I just woke up here alone. And I only knew two things. One was that I had a sister somewhere out there who would understand me. And the other was that if I didn't do something, she would die. At first, I thought it would be because of the abyss of time. But I don't think so anymore. Now I think, it's that power you awaken to. A power that leads to its wielder's death. Its wielder's death. The answer 
to life. I went to find you so I could save you. But I ended up causing your power to awaken. That's why I would do anything to protect you, even if it means you'll hate me for it. Because you're all I have. Metis. <sighs> I felt the same way about someone once, but that's exactly why I won't fight anymore. I can't hurt the people who made me who I am, even if you're right, and it ends up leading to my death. No! I don't want you to die! <sighs> Why do you have to die? Why does it have to be you? Why can't it be me instead? Please don't leave me behind. I'll give my life for the key too. And if that doesn't work, then I'm coming with you. So we can always be together. What exactly are you saying? Please don't leave me all alone. <laughs> Mattis. <sighs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I know how painful it is to be left behind like that. How could I do that to you? <laughs> you always seem to remind me of the things that are most important. I guess. Feelings for others can be painful, and even make us hurt each other. Honestly, it can cause a lot of suffering. But if I try to avoid that by not making a choice, I'd just be passing it off to someone else. I... I think I finally understand what Yukari-san was saying before. Now everyone needs to recognize their own feelings about who he was and what he meant to us. I was running away from how I feel. What will I choose if fixing or letting go of the past isn't the right way to think about it? Fuka-san, I want to discuss something with you. You too, Metis. Oh great, we don't get to hear it. Well, yeah, it's... They're not wrong, it does hurt being left behind. I just, I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't know. That's why I could, wait, that's why I could say such cruel things. <laughs> well, I... I think you made the right choice, I guess. It's like what Kikari-chan said. I thought about it and my mind is made up. I'll support you and I'll be your navigator until the end. Hmm. Like, I'm really thinking, how is this going to play out? Is it strange if I'm sort of thinking, what if someone goes back? Ahem. <clears throat> and, you know, in instead of him, someone goes back and sacrifices himself to Nyx instead? But would that work? Let's say a whoops, let let's say a certain a certain someone we know did that. How would that work? Um. That would cause the events to not even happen, right? We would have never met Metis. But mm. see what I mean? Bro, what did you just send me? Koro-chan, 
Koromaru seems to be in pain. That's how it was in the original. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea where the story's going. Oh, should I save the game first? I can only assume that maybe someone goes back and takes his place. Because the way they're, they're playing it out, it doesn't seem like moving forward or rewriting the past is the right choice. They're making it seem like neither is the right choice. Well, what's, what possible third option is there? Alright, it's time for the thing that I got spoiled, the boss fight that I knew was coming up this whole time. I didn't know about the other two, though. I guess, um... <laughs> Ladies. So you're here. Yukari-chan. You thought about what I said, didn't you? Can see it in your face. Then why you gotta I say it like that? I understand what you meant now. There are four lit flames. Then the victors of this battle will be awarded the true key. So, Agis, have you decided which choice you would make? I can't go back to the past yet, so I won't give up this key. I see. Then it appears we are in opposition. Yes, I won't give up on what's important to me. It may be painful, but I will stand by my choice. I understand now, thanks to her. Sister. Can people in this world ever say the characters' names? This may have actually been for the best. I've been acting so empty and mechanical lately. Like when we first met, I actually thought you were just gonna hand over your key because you didn't want to fight. But I considered it. Said, like you're alive again. What do you mean you again? We'll both be giving it our all, right? Yes, and I'm ready to prove it. I feel just as strongly about him as everyone else. <sighs> all right then. Guess we're done talking. And I'm not giving up on what's important to me either. Just, just, just can't ever say his name, huh? It's even more forbidden than saying Voldemort's name. Give it their all. No hold barred. This is it. You can do it, I guess. Summoning. Is it just me who thinks watching this fight from an outside perspective would be like a totally hot cat fight to watch? Is that bad? You got like two more fights and optional Joker fight. What are the what are possibly two more fights? What's the best move? What possible two other fights are there? Am I gonna solo against Metis and Fuka teaming up? Button, wrong button. Okay, I'll save for the theurgy for next time. Not good. It is time. Uh... Something else. 
Ah, you know what? Fine, I'll use it now. Hear my prayers. <laughs> Let me help you all. Wait. Okay, she didn't heal us like I thought, but that's still fine. She still helped us in some way. That was a lot of damage, too. Just shows how much health these guys have. Seriously? Seriously? Uh Here, I'll raise my at least my defense for next time. Oh, you're gonna use Tetracarn? Uh Fine, let me get rid of that Tetracarn real quick. <laughs> Why that looks so funny? There, now your Tetracarn's gone. What should I do? Persona. Yeah, because she used Concentrate. Did she use charge? I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna use this. You can count on me. What is optimized? Uh, which one? Which one? I guess Vaporal Blade. That's not one. That's not even what that says. Don't think it'll be so easy. Are you gonna heal her again? Nope. Unleash your power. No. Nope, you are. Oh, stra magic strength increased. I thought you were gonna heal yourselves. Now I can baton pass it to you. Ooh, should I... Ooh, should I do this or... Sh Can't I just do... Don't I have a second turn with her since this is a shift? So I could just use my theurgy after. Oh, I thought that was going to take me out. What do I have for the price of 22 HP? Never mind. I don't have anything. 
Isn't she weak to fire, though, since she's ice? Nope, no weakness here. Well, I'll still do it anyways. Now I get her theurgy. Wow, you use concentrate. So it was just the first fight that was the toughest. I don't know why Akihiko and Ken were just so tough. Alright, what now? Everyone's been defeated. I guess... here... She's, she said, I don't want to turn into a flame. With you all the way. This must be... The true key. Wow, they actually put a texture there. Instead of just a light. Oh no, are we too late? The flames are out. Nope, it's fine, they're alive. may sound strange given the circumstances, but I'm so glad you're all safe. <laughs> yeah, so... You really don't want to go back? Well, yeah. I don't think man, I, I don't think I guess said that. I want him back. I don't care about anything else. I just want him to come back. I tried so hard to be strong. And to look forward and just accept it all, but I can't. I can't do it. I just can't. <sighs> Yukari son. That's not. I made him a promise, too. I told him I'd do my best to change this world. People would stop wishing for the fall. That's why I wanted to move on from the past and just focus on the future. Yukari-san. But that was just a promise to myself. Not to him. So it... It can't end like that. Yukari. It's hard. Unbearably hard. But if you don't face that pain, it will never heal. So what? If I face it, it'll suddenly be okay? I'll just accept that he's gone? Or forget all about it? That won't happen! All of us should know by now, that never happens! You face your pain because it'll never truly go away. Yukari, would you help me fulfill the promise I made to him? What? It was more a promise to myself, like yours. He taught me so much. And showed me so many things that I've come to treasure. But before I could thank him, he was gone. The regret was suffocating. So, I promised myself I would always be there for the ones I care about. And fight to protect them, no matter the cost. And you're someone I care about, Yukari. What? Me? You may not have thought much of it, but to me, last year, 
When you refused to give up on me and gave me something to fight for again, I will never forget that. So this time, I... We want to be here for you. Me too, Senpai. I... The pain of losing someone close to you is terrible. But you don't have to hold it in. And Yukari, you've kept yours locked up for too long. You've been trying so hard to push forward that you never stopped to grieve. <laughs> it's all right. We're here for you. Your friends are here for you. <laughs> Yukari-san, I want him to come back too, but I stopped to think about everything, like you told us to, and I realized something. So please, I'd like you to listen. I want to know what exactly he did. In that moment he used his power, we still aren't entirely sure what really happened to him. I think we should know that before making a choice. So I won't use the key just yet. This is the answer I arrived at. Oh, the answer? After learning everyone else's feelings. Is that what the answer is? What really happened? I agree. We should know the whole story before acting. I thought we were running out of time. Sounds good to me. But, uh, can we even do that? I'm not sure. All the doors to the past are gone except the one to his room. There's actually one more, remember? We've been using it this whole time. That's right. The door to Polonia Mall. Doors reflect the minds of those who pass through. If we wish strongly enough to look into the past, that door should allow us to do so. I see. It would certainly be worth a try. Is something wrong? I was just thinking... I don't really have a reason to be here. And I... I did some horrible things to you all, so I shouldn't go with you. Dude, what are you even talking about? We got ourselves into this mess. None of this is on you. Don't tell me she's about to snatch the yeah, key away. It's our own fault we got trapped here, and for squabbling with each other too. You're sticking with us, whether you like it or not. Don't you remember? I told you I won't leave you behind. Huh? Now that I think about it, it's pretty lucky there's still that one door left, huh? It almost seems too good to be a coincidence. Huh. Actually, that is unusual. Why'd you have to say it? You can just... If its purpose was to prepare everyone for battle... You can just let yourself have a something nice? We have the true key, so the fighting should be over. But the door hasn't disappeared. Maybe so it has. Does it have another purpose? I suppose it would make sense. If that door hasn't fulfilled its purpose of preparing us for combat, perhaps there's still an enemy for us to defeat. Ah. Uh. Our own feelings were the cause of this situation, and Igis's proposal would take us to the source of that pain. I wouldn't be surprised to find something waiting for us there. <sighs> So, what should we do? Come up with another plan? If there is something there, that's even more reason for us to go. That's what I think. So there's something at the mall for us to fight? Our final battle. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Feels like January again. I wonder what is waiting for us. Another large shadow, maybe? No point thinking about it. We just gotta beat it, no matter what it is. <laughs> That's right. And I'll support you all as best as I can. Okay, then. When we work together, there's nothing we can't do. 
Now let's go. <laughs> the power of friendship. Oh, there's only one door left. What more could there be? The door leading to Polonina Mall. We should get on our way. Let's go. We're here. Wait, what? I thought we went through the door what? to get to the mall. That wasn't here before. Neither was that last door to the Coliseum. One final battle ahead of us. Let's make sure we're as prepared as possible before proceeding. <laughs> That's Works funny. That's we'll funny. Get to the bottom of this, no matter what stands in our way. Why are you all walking back? Why'd you all turn around and leave? A path to the desert of doors will lead us. Wait, yeah, a new path in the Desert of Doors will lead us to the final battle. The answer we seek lie just beyond it. We should take all possible measures to prepare before going through that door. No, I will not. Oh my god, they all have something to say. It seems as if Koromaru-san is ready to f ready for the final fight. I get the impression that I'm beginning to understand him a little better than before. Hey, um... Once again, I thought we were in a hurry. We're all just sitting down, chilling. I think I'm actually glad that I lost to you. If I tried to do the past over again with the mindset I was in, I probably would have ended up having even more regrets. It's honestly embarrassing how little I've processed everything. Oh, I heard from Fuka. You could have died if you lost your key? Why did you say anything? I would have... Actually, I probably would have done everything the same anyways. I was only thinking about myself. I'm so sorry. You see. Oh, sister. I... I'm starting to understand things a little better now. Or at least, I think I am. Things like, why I don't know anything about myself. Why you're so important to me. Uh -huh. And who... Who I really am. Pretty exciting, huh? Now that I've had time to calm down and think, I've realized that Lil Sis is just as cute as you, Aichan. Never really noticed it before. Man, I must have been out of it. That butterfly thing on her face is actually kind of mysterious and irresistible, you know? <laughs> really glad things didn't end up with Lil Sis in tears. Well, I suppose you weren't there for that. I know it's a bit late coming for coming from me now, but if you died there, I guess, or even worse, if it was the one to wait, if I was the one to take that key from you, yeah, seriously. that would have been the worst friggin' thing to live with. Let's never do something like that again. If it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't have. S wait, I probably would have been swept up in all of this and wouldn't have been able to make my own decisions. Even though it was such an important one to make. So, thank you, I guess. Once we're done with this final battle, we can use the true key and... Um... You know how to use the true key, right? Why, certainly. Right, sorry, I got a little nervous there. But we'll be okay. Really? Why he lost his life, huh? I thought I already accepted his death, but maybe in the end, I didn't want to face it. I'll see. I'll see it through this time, though, for closure's sake. Sorry. About that. Before we fought, I said you had nothing to fight for, didn't I? Sorry about that. You put your life on the line to arrive at your answer. Guess there's still a lot I have to learn. <laughs> I'm relieved we're all here together. I know I chose to split apart and fight for my own- wait. I know I chose to split apart and fight for my side, but the fact that we're in this as a team again puts me at ease. Thank you, you Aigasan. 
I'm still a little mad you didn't say anything about the key possibly being linked to your life, though. No wonder Metis was so determined to win. She'll do anything for the person she cares about the most, even if it means harming others in the process. Well, and I... I kind of relate to that. Thank you. Thank you for stepping up as the leader. You've done well. You may have fractured... wait. We may have fractured at one point, but you're the reason we're all to wait, we're all together again. You have my gratitude. I apologize for giving you such a heavy burden. <sighs> also, there's something I need to discuss with you. I guess about your life. You are one of the people you are one of the people I want to protect. That's why next time you can come to me for anything. What happens if I go to his door now? I'm just curious. I'm curious. Will it just say nothing will happen? What happens if I do this now? This was his room. Okay, so nothing happens. So, I guess I have no choice. Gotta do the last one. So, what happens if I go through here? I assume it's just the same thing. You get you gather supplies to prepare. Yeah, so nothing changes here. I suppose I can pick up my vegetables. Take your time looking. All right, that's gonna be it. Thank you, lady. That'll be the last time I see you. All right. Let's see what awaits us. Uh, who do I want on my team? I think I might want Yukari because she can heal. And who else? Who's strong? Mm. I'm thinking between like Ken and Akihiko. I think I'll, I think I'll go with Akihiko. Yes. Well, we'll see. What's the back of this look like? Just an uncracked version of the front. Without, you know, s any sort of sludge spewing out. Okay, final door. Um. This is the final one. Are you ready? Absolutely not, but I saved the game and that's all I need. that everyone experienced, then you can interact with it, remember? It's just like that shopping mall. Uh, everyone? But this ain't your past, right? It's probably because I... Oh my god. Nyx, and that figure. <gasps> Is it him? Maybe Nyx has control of him? Now, there he is. There he is. This looks like the moment he sacrificed himself. The miracle he performed.
So he literally became a door, right? That's what I'm getting. And what happened to his clothes? What is this? I thought the background changed. That's his life essence. This is what happened that night. Using the power of the Great Seal, his own essence became the seal. But when someone's life essence leaves their body, they die. To do this intentionally? He must have already found his answer to life. His answer to life? I don't think he has any regrets. He even managed to keep his promise to you all before his consciousness finished fading away. His promise? You mean, to meet up on graduation day? Wait. How do you know about all that? How? I just do. I'm probably like Nyx, or mm -hmm. this person who became the seal. I think I belong on this side. Hmm. Nyx is able to bring death to all things, but if she's that powerful, then what was stopping her before he became the seal? Huh. Was there someone else? Then what about before humanity existed? What are you getting at? I'm not sure why this occurred to me. But I don't think Nyx is malicious. Normally, a seal shouldn't be necessary. What? Are you saying he did this for nothing? No. I think what he was actually trying to do... Is he trying no. is he trying to protect Nyx maybe? This is not a shadow. I think it's it's full of humanities. Just as I thought. The purpose of his seal. It's not meant to hold back Nyx. It's to prevent something from reaching her. What do you mean? That giant monster. It's not a shadow. It's a mess of the worst traits and feelings from every person's heart. Deep down. Everyone is calling for Nyx! That can't be. There was a time when I also wished for death. It's probably true that everyone has a part of them secretly yearning for it. The only thing that separates the living from the non-living is death. The greatest equalizer. Okay, I'm guilty of this too. I think I understand. When you feel like your life has no meaning, the thought of death can be comforting. And that subconscious desire is so strong, it could even create a monster like this. I guess that's just how it is these days. So we need to fight humanity's desire for death. Is that it? Who is it after us? It must want my sister. She has the same power as the one who created the seal. Are you going to fight it? You can't take on something like that. This is a battle we can't run from. Feelings that created this monster came from within me as well. I couldn't accept reality. So I wished for the past. Despite that past harboring death and bloodshed, there isn't a doubt in my mind. This is the cause of all our struggles. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Let's take it down. This isn't just a fight against a monster. I'll be facing myself as well. And I'm ready. He won't run away this time. He's watching us, and we can't let him down. 
This thing's got no chance of beating us, and I'm liking those odds. Sister. Don't worry. It won't stop us. To live means to not give in to your own weaknesses. So we won't lose. We will live. It's another nerfed cutscene. Oh my god, look at this thing. It has a face on its head and its ass. What is Optima? So, okay, so... I'm thinking, like, did Makoto know what he was doing? Surely he had to have. It's like they retconned what he sacrificed himself for. He wasn't trying to stop Nyx, but instead he was trying to protect Nyx. Man, now whenever I'm rewatch the movie, <laughs> now I'm gonna think differently. Like, oh, he had a different intention when he sacrificed himself. So if we take this thing down, is there any chance we can get him back? Since there would be no need for him to be a seal. But it's already done. He already did it. He was a seal to prevent this thing from reaching Nyx and causing the end. So the end would have been caused if humanity's desire for death reached death, reached Nyx. So he kind of stopped everyone from reaching death because they wished for it. Is that what I'm getting? Wow, that did very little. Yeah, basically. So he didn't stop Nyx, he stopped everyone from basically wanting Nyx. Wait, no. Uh... Uh, I mean, should I use it? Two of our team members are pretty low on health. Okay, didn't get healed. That's fine. Man, now I'm sad there's no fifth Persona 3 movie covering the DLC story. Uh, well, I already charged. I mean, I may as well. Maybe I can get, you know, two hits in. I did. I have to do this. Okay, so what happens after we take this thing down? What is this thing even called? Erebus. What else do I have? Mm, well, I may as well heal... I guess. It respawns? I take this thing down, it just respawns? I suppose it would at some point respawn, right? Because like they said, humanity will always have a desire for death, right? That's just something that'll never go away, unless humanity goes extinct. Uh, well, we already saw electric doesn't really do much. Let's just do this. Also, it's canon that Elizabeth one-shots this. How is that canon? Uh... 
So I'm thinking, if only we managed to <clears throat> go a little bit further back and fought this thing before Makoto sacrificed himself, but he already did the sacrifice, so we kind of can't undo that. Unless for some, you know, plot convenience, we take this thing down, and his sacrifice has no point anymore, so he can just come back to us. Uh... You know what? Oh, sure. A bloody charge. Oh, man. I was about to say I will heal with Yukari, but then her theurgy's up. Ah, yeah. I'll still bloody charge. I guess I'll save Yukari's theurgy for next for the, the next turn. So she one-shots it every time she comes. Oh, wait. I didn't read the one before that. It's canon, she's trying to find a way to free Dorkun's soul, and comes here to try to figure out a way. So she one-shots it every time she comes. Man, this dude really said Dorkun. Oh, wrong move. You know, this... I, I actually was wondering that this whole time. Even before playing this game, I knew there was some sort of door meme. And then I finished the game, I'm just like, okay, he just metaphorically became a door. Became a, a seal to stop Nyx. Okay, now I see he literally became a seal. So it took me to the end of the goddamn game. This DLC. To actually visually see- what the hell? Is that a butthole you just put on my screen? Maybe it's preparing something? Be careful. I'm not trying to see your starfish, fella. Alright, obviously we should probably, you know, guard against the nuke that's coming our way. The background is spectacular, by the way. Look how beautiful the background is. If only we didn't have a, you know, a two-headed demon in front of us to block our view. Physical wall? Am I- do I, do I attack that thing? Summoning. No. It won't let me change targets. <clears throat> oh, I'll guard again, because I don't know what that is. You know what that reminds me of? You guys know the Vita Karnas, uh, analog horror? It reminds me of that. The little- little floating balls of meat. Is this thing going to use that black hole or what? No. She says so in Persona 4 uh, Arena games? Really? Wait a second, so if that's the case, she came here multiple times and just one-shots this thing, then you might be right, it does respawn afterwards. Your physical wall means nothing! Hmm... Well, I suppose I just need to get rid of that physical wall. There we go. What's next? next magic attack would do more than double for all allies. You know what? Fine, I'll try it. I didn't, I didn't bloody charge. I didn't charge at all. No. So fine, let's do this. this should help. This thing didn't put up a magic reflecting wall. Come on, show me that more than double damage, motherfuck! <laughs> Infuriate. <laughs> Huh? 
Oh, there. Mm, there's the magic erecting wall. What? I'm picking up a massive energy surge within the enemy. The enemy's taunting is making you angry. What is optimal? Well, it's been like five turns, and that thing still hasn't done anything with that black hole yet. I'm gonna take my chances, and I'm still not going to guard. Um. Well, it already put up a magic wall. Uh. Ah, forget it, bloody charge. Well, I thought she was angry. What's the best move? I thought she was about to charge in. I gotta get rid of that magic wall. Can you tell I clearly don't know what I'm doing? One step at a time. I've got you. Right. Why did I forget that? Wow, that didn't one-shot all of us like I thought it would. Power. It's terrible. That attack were to land multiple times. Um, I'm gonna try scanning. Sonata Senpai, no! I kinda thought that would do a lot more. This is my resolve. What move do I have to heal? Yeah, I'll do it. And this one was just restore one allies. Oh right, I gotta I gotta revive him. What am I talking about? That dude's dead. I gotta bring him back. Time to redeem myself. My best bet with me. Let's go! Man, why why when I was fighting against my teammates, they had 5,000 HP? Man, why don't I have that now? Why can't they have 5,000 HP when I'm using them? So, does my bloody charge from the last time even count still? Can I see, actually? Nope. Is there a way for me to see? Uh... Let's just assume it does. I don't know. Are you gonna heal everyone, or are you gonna raise our stats? You're gonna charge us up. I'm afraid if you'll heal us, it'd be wasted. Uh, let's see. Oh, down on the D-pad. Okay, good. You didn't heal us. Thank you. Did I charge with her before? Now I can't even remember. Down on the D-pad, huh? Her physical attack is up, so that's... Whoops. No, 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 no. That's good. Mm. You know what? Yes. Okay, it blocks everything. I mean, I may as well. I can't attack if I don't do this. Work. 
Okay, that did very little. Good. Good. Or should I try Arrow Rain? Uh... That is a risk, though. We've literally seen earlier tonight. It only hit one time. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not risk it. What's the best move? This, on the other, other hand, I will risk. I, I didn't even speak properly there. I have to do this. Uh. I'll heal next turn. That is assuming I don't get killed. You know, I, I negated this thing's wind resistance. I may as well use it. Arrow Rain is an ass move? Alright, good to know. I can't be the only one who notices right now. It's sticking its ass end up with the face. With the face that kind of looks like... Uh, what was it? What was it called again? The Batman who laughs. I can't be the only one who noticed this thing's ass is up in the air. If you can disrupt it, that should prevent its attack. Everyone, go on the offensive. Oh damn it! She said, "Go on the offensive." Did I charge yet? No, I didn't. Go <laughs> on the offensive, she said. Still enraged. Now Do I use my theurgy? Does that count? I don't think my charge counts. It counts for theurgies? Really? The fact that it's turn-based and Yukari, you know, can't just rapid-fire arrows at it. I also can't use Yukari to heal. That's a pretty cool move, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, if I lose her, then I lose the ability to heal and revive for cheap, so I kind of need to heal her first. You know, if Vigas dies, then I'm on peaceful mode, right? You see, it's a good thing that I healed Yukari just now. Well, I don't have enough for a bloody charge, so I may as well just just land one first. Never mind. I guess I'm not going to land it. Do you know? Hear me. Demonic degree me. can't kill. It always does half. You mean hyperfang? Oh, already in effect. Now's your chance! 
in this situation. I think the this enemy? Oh. I see. So this is what we're up to. Oh, because it's, it, it can't move. It has no weakness right now. I won't lose. Man, it lit—it literally said can't move, and you still missed. Man, I just noticed what this thing is. What is it? Oh, wait a second. Oh, I thought those were... I thought those were butt cheeks. No, they look more like breasts to me. Wait a second, if I turn to the side... I've already scanned this one. Top half of a man and a woman. Yeah, I, I can see that now. I kind of thought the left side was, um... Maybe like a centaur? And then I kind of thought on the right side, it was like butt cheeks up, on the, up in the air. No, I can see it now. The right end... Like, the right half of this thing's design, I see breasts, and then the other side, the left side, I see, like, a really swole body. So I guess it's the desire... It's the desires of all men and women for death. Please don't miss this time. Thank you. Already in effect? I swear, why do I not remember using them? <laughs> Maybe because nothing happens when I do use them. In this situation. Wait, is this thing's win weakness still back? Yeah, it's back. Okay, so instead, I will heal us. Man, does this thing have, you know, the typical 90 accuracy and it just never lands? What is optimal? Oh wait, her theurgy's up. But then I can't heal. Whatever. It's fine. Sure, I'll do this instead. Given how many attacks I've been missing, I probably should do that more. So, does my accuracy get reverted to normal now? Got the one hit there.
Oh, this again. Yes! Why? Hear my prayers. Let me help you all. All right, so what now? Okay, now everything magic. Should I do? Wait, right? Thought you could resist physical moves now, huh? I have to do this. Oh man, but uh Oh no, never mind. You you're now missing that weak You're now missing that uh advantage. This work. If only I had Yukari's theurgy right now, where the next uh the next magic move will do a lot more. What do I have? Let's see. Fuka gave it to you? Really? It's gone. And it looks like the enemy can't move. Now's your chance. I guess she did give us basically one of everything. So that would mean attack up, right? Three different buffs. Let me see. This is my resolve. I hope it stays down one more turn so I can use this and then actually land the move. I already charged with her, didn't I? Yeah. She can heal slash SP recover, I assume. She can attack, defense, basically everything up, or charge slash focus. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Shit. I suppose it's okay. No. Do I use my theurgy or do I just attack? You said charging up counts for theurgies, right? Medium pierce, though. Medium pierce versus, you know, severe slash. So I think it's just smarter if I do this. See? Okay, now watch this thing respawn. Oh man, for a split moment, we actually got a great shot of how nice the background looked. <laughs> yeah! That's what you get! Fighting us! World saving! Warriors! Wow. We actually did it. I told you it wouldn't stop us. But won't that monster reappear eventually? Exactly. Because people will still keep having those feelings. Wishing for destruction. You're right. It's certainly difficult. People struggle to keep death at bay. All the while forgetting what makes life worth living in the first place. I 
could get it. That's why we need the seal. Without it, people would just call for Nyx again, wanting everything to end. Can't help but feel that way. When we're staring it right in the face. I couldn't stop it myself either. Didn't they bring up the question earlier who was the seal before he was? Change anything. That's why he made that choice. Yukari. I miss him. It hurts knowing he's gone forever, but I can see his choice and why he made it. I just have to accept it. That this is what he wanted. But it's it's still really, really hard to do that. I have to do better too. He protected all of us. And he still is. Even now. Yeah. We have to stay strong. Just like he is. At least I... I feel like I finally got to really see him all. If it wasn't for that monster, we could have made it back. But I guess it's not like we can get rid of that thing for good. We can't change the feelings of the whole world. Yes, we can. Maruki could. We can could. do it. I guess... If we simply allow Maruki, then no one would ever feel like that. Someday. As long as we're alive, we can change things. I know. Because I was even able to change myself. That's our goal. And we gotta believe we can do it first. People aren't as hopeless as they think. We've already learned that much. Yeah. You're right. As long as we're alive, we can change things. You know, I guess... I think I get why you got the same power as him. This whole time, I was wondering why it got to be you and not me. But you were the one who really knew how to move forward. I guess you have that in common with him. Oh. Really? Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that you're glad. You know, I was pretty jealous for a good while there. Yeah, just petty jealousy, plain and simple. I wanted it to be me. And I said so many terrible things to you. I'm sorry. Yukari-san. Come on, let's use that key and go back to our time. I think we're all ready to start April 1st now. Agreed. Oh, that's right. We move forward today. All right. It would be Billy's August. birthday. Yes. Ah, so you mean his door not being accessible was just um, teasing us for nothing? I don't know how else to say this, so I'm very glad I got to know all of you. Uh, isn't it a bit early to be getting sentimental? And you don't have to be so stiff. We're all friends here, right? Actually, you shouldn't say that at all. It's like you're saying goodbye. Yes, you're right. Oh, friendship. That's the answer! If something's mere presence can make you realize you're alive. And if that something isn't death, then maybe it's friendship. Is that... The answer to life I'm supposed to find? No one else sees that? No one else saw that? Congratulations, sister. Yeah, where was Metis there? Metis wasn't standing there. Oh look! Where look, they all see him. What the? What is this place? The hell's all this now? Didn't we just walk outside? How are you all here? There is no need to worry. I simply summoned you that we might say our farewells. This is quite a surprise, however. 
I did not expect your friends to follow you here. It would seem that the power of the wild card within you has had an effect on them as well. Um, I guess you know them? And so did he. This is a place where those soon to awaken to their power can receive guidance. Both my sister and your friend who sealed Nyx were guests here. None of y'all though. None of y'all came here. Why are you over there with them? Just what's going on? It's like I said before. I belong on this side. The abyss of time will disappear soon. The flow of time in your everyday lives will return to normal. Congratulations, sister. And the rest of you as well. Metis, you... Do you recall saying that you could no longer fulfill your purpose? To protect him? Well, I think you might still be able to do so. What? We all discussed earlier getting rid of that monster for good. Maybe someday, enough people will come to the same realization as you. Were that to happen, the world would stop calling for Nyx, and the monster would no longer appear. Yeah, that's so not gonna until happen. that day comes, continue fostering connections with others. That is how you can still protect him. I don't think even world peace would, really would have that happen. Protecting him? Metis. Who are you really? Won't you tell us? I think she's my other self. Pain of losing him was unbearable. So much so, I just wanted to be a machine again. You must be the part of myself that I wished away. My lonely sister, always afraid of being left behind. You came to help me acknowledge and confront the pain of life. I understand now. I wish I'd figured it out sooner. Sister. The souls of all living things are connected through a plane similar to a sea. I think that's where I came from. Your heart is connected to that sea as well. You truly are alive. And from now on, We'll always be together, sister. I'm coming home. Welcome back. I feel tired. It's been some time since I last felt like this. I haven't needed sleep in a while. Well. It would appear our guest has safely reached her destination. She has found her answer to life. Her answer to life? Please, tell me, now that I've found my answer, is my life going to end? End? What do you mean by that? I guess... It's strange, though. I feel... satisfied. Wait, I guess... are you... Oh, no, you can't! I wish I had been there to say goodbye. I shouldn't have locked myself away in my room. Huh? Am I... crying? Now that I think about it, Metis cried before. I must have even thrown away the ability to shed tears. You've overcome this ordeal splendidly. And now you've reached the end of your journey. It is time for us to part. I guess cut it out. This isn't funny. I guess please. It's okay. Don't worry. I guess. I guess. You know, 
You might be able to reach him now. Not so much with words, but with everyone's hearts and strength. If you were to do that, he wouldn't have to carry on alone anymore. And that's all for the weather. At the tone, the time will be 12 a.m. So 12 a.m. No dark hour. We move on to the next day. Good evening. It is now April 1st. Here are the latest news reports. Who? Who announces news at midnight? Hmm? What? When did we fall asleep? Huh? This is the dorm. Is everything back to normal? Talking about a key or something? Do they not remember yeah, Igor? We were. But it looks like that's been settled. Everything outside is back to normal. We're no longer blocked from leaving either. So the abyss of time is gone then. The date! It's April 1st! Is no one noticing that Igus isn't moving? It's all over then, right? Why the music guess... fade? Wait a second. After we used the key to open the front door, we ended up in a room that looked like an elevator. And while we were there, I guess son. Hey, come on, I guess. You're not gonna lie there forever, are you? Wake up. I guess. You read your senpai. Let's not jump to conclusions. We'll take her to her room for now. We can use the equipment there to check on her condition. Come on, don't tell me both main characters will die. Making up. Please! How's it looking, Fuka? I'm on it. I've used this equipment a number of times before. It should be designed to allow us to operate the most basic systems on our own. Only it wasn't so late at night. I'm sorry. I tried contacting the lab, but they're unlikely to send help anytime soon. It's okay. I think I've almost got it. Is that it? Her vitals are on screen now. Let's see. Huh. No. This can't be. Did you find something? Synaptic circuits. They're completely burned out. There must have been a massive system overload that took her way over capacity. I imagine it's related to her gaining the ability to use multiple personas. Burned out, but she can be fixed, right? It would be easy enough to replace the necessary parts. But the I guess we know is already gone. No, I guess. Mm. Did you call my name? I guess. Um, did something happen? Does she not remember any of it? Give us a heart attack, you sleepy head. You took so long to wake up, we thought you were dead. But oh, how? Her synaptic circuits shouldn't even be receiving power anymore. It's 
almost like she's really alive. Um, I'm sorry if I caused you all concern. I was having a dream. The first one in quite some time. It was full of memories of the time I spent with everyone. And... And him? Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. <laughs> it's nothing. Painful goodbyes may be one of the most difficult aspects of living. But I believe that spending time with those who care about you is one of the most joyous. I really am lucky. To have such wonderful friends. I guess... We were right next to each other. Suffering over the exact same things. Looking back, I feel kinda stupid. Why did we ever think we were all alone? I guess we're more alike than we thought. Man... Is this nightmare finally over? We're not gonna wake up and see April 1st again, are we? Hey, quit tempting fate, would you? In any case, that's it for now. Oh, crap. With the danger gun, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I could practically sleep standing up. Oh, Junbei-kun! All right. Let's head back to our rooms and get some rest for tonight. Was there anything else to take care of before we turn in? Hmm. Actually, there is one thing I'd like to announce. With regard to collecting everyone's evokers, I'd like to reverse that decision. This whole incident gave me a lot to think about. In a way, I may have been trying to bury the past by collecting the symbols of our power and locking them away. But even with no shadows left to fight, we remain in a battle against ourselves. So, everyone should hold on to their own. Didn't we collect the evokers a long time ago? Right? Didn't we collect them right before Ikutsuki betrayed us? Or was there another time after that I'm not thinking of? Let's see. My large items have been shipped. Am I forgetting anything? See, why does this game turn off the auto? I just got word. Our transportation will be here shortly. You're taking everyone else too? Yes, their new dorms are on the way to the lab anyway. And since we're all here, I thought we might as well travel together. It would be dull otherwise. Has anyone seen Junpei? I told him not to be late. What on earth? Junpei-kun! I bet he's trying to carry everything at once. Just ignore him. He did the same thing last year. I see. It sounded like it really hurt, though. Oh, my face. No one saw that, right? Sadly, I did not. Right. Can't leave him alone for five minutes. Sounds like they're here. Damn, you heard that tire screech? Um. I actually have a favor to ask. What is it? I, uh. I know it's last minute, and might be too late, but would it be okay for me to not go back to the lab? Before, I thought I'd lost my purpose, my reason to live. Now I realize that isn't the case. If possible, I would like to keep attending school with Yukari-san and everyone. I guess... I want to continue experiencing new things with you all, if it's not too late. <sighs> well, it would be difficult, since I'm no longer involved with Gekukan High. Your transportation has arrived, ma'am. Thank you. Senpai! Apologize, but there's been a sudden change in plans. We'll now be going to the school's Tatsumi Hall. The transfer to the lab has been cancelled. <gasps> Senpai! You mean... Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Thank you so much! 
It's an honor to be able to stay with you all. Are those cars 3D? It's weirdly kind of sad to leave, huh? Yes, but change is part of life. Hey, so if you're going to live in the dorms next year, do you want to be roommates? Huh? I imagine you still need one. And also, it just makes sense, you know? Because we're friends, aren't we? You saw how far she turned her head? <laughs> she almost turned her head entirely, <laughs> like, 180. <laughs> yeah, let's do it! Well, seems like that's it. Then what we're using the rest of the game, it turns off because you turned it off in the settings. I assume you mean the auto. Really? You can change that? Oh, look, <laughs> look, you see the voice actor for Koromaru. You know what's funny to think? I don't think we saw the Persona 4 characters go into the Velvet Room. Oh, Masked Boy Xander Mobus. That's cool. Where was there a Masked Boy? Who was a Masked Boy in this game, voiced by Xander Mobus? Anyways, I don't think we saw Persona 4 characters go to the Velvet Room and meet Igor. We saw them meet, uh, we saw them meet Margaret. Just before, you know, um, saving Marie, but I don't think we ever saw them go into the Velvet Room and meet Igor. So, so far it seems like Persona 3 and 5 characters have been in the Velvet Room and met Igor. Remember how Persona 5 ended? They went to the depths of mementos, went into that door and ended up in the Velvet Room? So there's the full plot of Persona 3. I'm really glad I guess didn't die at the end. We would have lost both our main characters.
I suppose the explanation for Metis kinda makes sense. I question why her gear there disappeared. Something like she's whole now, so she doesn't need the extra protection, but it's like, why did it disappear though? Right? Why did it just vanish? Anyways, like, I suppose the I, uh, the Metis thing kind of makes sense. Because I was thinking, how did nobody know that the Kirijo group had another anti-shadow weapon, right? How did nobody know that? Because, I swear, they mentioned, they even brought point to this too, they mentioned that Aegis is the last. Well, if Metis exists, uh, clearly not. So when Meta, no, when I guess was introduced to all our characters, it's just, they just failed to mention. We have another one, by the way. Something away, something about the way Igus is walking right now, it just kind of reminds me of like, Just Dance, doesn't it? Anyone else? Oh look, she's turning! Are our other characters about to join her in her walk? Okay, I guess not. What, what'd she turn around for? Special thanks to original Persona 3 Festival staff and Persona 3 Reload staff and all Persona 3 Reload players. Oh, thank you. They specifically thank the Persona 3 Festival staff. Because I guess to hell with the original Persona 3 or the Persona 3 Portable staff. No one cares about them. Original Devil Design. Character Design Corporation. Enemy Design Corporation. You know, it kind of blows my mind that some of these positions that were needed to make this game was just one person doing the job. Alright, All right. I'm satisfied with that ending. Together into tomorrow. Clear save data? Do I really want to though? I mean, it's for New Game Plus, ain't it? 
when am I ever going to New Game Plus that DLC? Right? It's just all the same thing. What happens if I hit no? Clear data has not been saved to the console. Are you sure you want to return to the title screen? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I clear the data for New Game Plus, right? So if I clear this, I still have this. What happens if I choose an empty file? Okay, I guess that's how it is. What? I don't know anymore. You save to do the Joker fight. You don't read what the floor, the first text box said. Did I? Look at that, this is different now. Look at that, we have color now. So what, if I load the game and I, what, I load into this? Okay, so it puts you right before the door. That makes sense. And I assume to fight Joker, I would go into the Velvet Room. That's not what I want to do. So, seems like that's it. Oh look, he's alive! <laughs> right, and then we also had this. Not even gonna try the Joker fight? Well, not right now. I'll probably s save the Joker fight for its own. Well, we're closing up on three hours. We finished the DLC. That was the main goal. So I think this is where I'm going to end it. We finished the DLC. We'll probably try the Joker fight next time. Don't expect me to win. Very much do not expect that. You're not going to beat the Joker fight. Yeah, I figured. I wasn't thinking I would to begin with. But I am curious, so I haven't seen how the Joker fight plays out. I want to see how we actually get started. Do we... Does it go the way Persona 5 Royal did? It's like, who are these guys? These guys' strength is through the roof. Good luck fighting them. Is it going to be like that? I'm curious, though. I'm curious how it's going to start. Okay. They aren't just... They aren't just challenge battles. Battlers? I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to see how that how that works. Okay, this is a good place to end. We finished the DLC. Uh, I gotta say, though, the DLC... It dragged on for a lot longer than necessary. Like, seven of those doors where all of them were basically the same thing. And to add insult to injury, after a certain point, instead of two doors, they became three for all of them. Just adding more for you to do. So it seemed like they were really padding out time with the DLC. They probably could have reduced that, right? You didn't need a single door for every memory, right? You probably could have, like, halfway into it showed one memory, and then when you get to the very end, show another. You didn't need seven ass doors. But whatever. That's the DLC. It dragged on. It was a bit of a slog. I'm thinking, was the end of the story worth it? Was all that mindless grinding worth it at the end? I need to sleep on it. I need to think about it first. The answer was supposed to be a challenge run thing, not just DLC. Yeah, I paid to do this too. 
So you damn wealth, you better be damn sure I'm gonna play through it if I'm gonna pay 30 freaking dollars for it. Maybe more because it was Canadian. Anyways, I'm gonna end this here. So there's the DLC. Hope you guys enjoyed, even though majority of it, 90% of it was the exact same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna end this here. Probably gotta let my dogs out one more time before bed. Gotta work on catching more Pokemon to get shiny Meloetta. So, I'm gonna end this here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye.